How are we doing collectors? It's the J-Man. Like I said last time we've been looking at some headlong tanks that I've uh, added to, painted up, weathered and everything. We'll just run through a few things. I don't know if you all know this but these headlong tanks are fully RC controlled backwards forwards you know sideways turrets rotate barrels up and down also they uh, fire BBs these one do these three fire the BBs they got uh, smoke and sound effects on them as well but I pretty much just use them once I've done them with them static display models but they are fully radio controlled as well uh, very 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 similar to the uh, top end Tamiya RC tanks that the Tamiya do except you have to completely build these these all come pretty much pre-built just add a few accessories on but the paint schemes on them are pretty basic you know like for instance the one in the middle is a Pershing you get that basic olive drab the two Tigers at the end come in like Panzer Grey so uh, I've done them to look, make them look a bit more authentic so we'll run through one at a time what you can actually achieve with a bit of uh, modelling knowledge on these tanks this is the early production Tiger 1 now pretty much all the camo netting is homemade all done from uh, different netting I've picked up and uh, painted up and like I say the tank itself comes this one Tiger comes in like a panzer grey colour so it's been weathered the uh, tank commander is from uh, Valinden models that's an actual kit that I've uh, put together and painted up he does come with a tank commander all these tanks come with tank commanders but uh, they're pretty quite basic so that one I went for a more realistic tank commander now the kit on the back is from uh, the Bravo team 118th figures there's a Panzer Shrek, some ammo boxes added some rust there onto the back of the engine ports mud effect up the back same on the wheels get some mud like I say some bit of modeling knowledge you can be amazing uh, what you can actually pull off with these tanks because they're like 1 16th scale they're, they're really big so you can really go to town on them here's the Persian again I'll make camo netting, I'll make sandbags figures used again at the back there the US infantry was uh, Bravo team the two uh, tank commanders were from uh, Ultimate Soldier they did a little uh, 118 scale figures a long, long time ago I managed to find some again all painted up and weathered they come out really nice a lot more authentic and the last one again Tiger 1 in a different uh, camo scheme this one I've done I've done it in uh, a grey and uh, a green added some of my own netting again now this is the tank commander that you get with this headlong tank but it comes pretty much moulded green so you know get the paint out paint him up here we have again Bravo team uh, World War 2 German figs on there on the back again you get all these little bits of accessories with these tanks like jelly cans, ammo boxes um, little bits and pieces they come as accessories with the Bravo team but like the bed rolls and everything I uh, made myself
and like I said they really do come on really well you get some modeling knowledge you know these things I ought to do I put some bullet holes in the back of the engine cover uh, exhaust there and they come out really well and they make fantastic I mean they're fantastic RC bits of kit anyway but uh, they really do make nice nice sized display models as well so thank you very much for watching this vid from the J-Man on his uh, World War II tanks I hope you've enjoyed it uh, stay tuned we'll give him back to some uh, one six figs next again so it's the J-Man signing out see you later